Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hi, Manuel. And hi, Gobin Desai. Gobin Desai. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Coffee Break with Rabbi Laura Gonzalez. I am still Laura Gonzalez. Hi, Gabby. Welcome to the Coffee Break. Today, we are going to use the Dark Wood Tarot by Sasha Graham and the art by Abigail Larson. And if we have time, we shall do a Four Agreements Oracle. I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody is doing great. And that you're having a good um, back to school day. Back to school, back to work. Uh, a lot of people have the weekend off. The Holy Week, Holy Weekend. Whatever you call it. Um, some folks had some time off. Hi, Diana. Long time. <laughs> we just saw uh, Diana and I just saw each other recently. So I have to make the joke. And whoever is on the Book of Faces, Book of Faces, A, you can now send me stars. Don't ask me how. I think you click on the video and you click on the stars and then you comment with the stars. Um, and I think it's a dollar. So appreciate if you do it. Um, otherwise, just comment without the stars. So I know who you are and I can say hi. And to my friend friends here on the Instagrams, welcome, welcome, welcome. Diana Elosoto, uh, Gabby, Gobin Desai, and Manuel Sinfondos. Welcome to all of you and thank you for being here. As I was saying, we're going to use the Sasha Graham uh, Darkwood Tarot, which is the one I'm shuffling right now. The images are so beautiful on this deck. So let's see what has here for us. Thank you to everyone that supported my many adventures this weekend. We had uh, Honky Tonk on Thursday. It was really cool. And then on Saturday, the eggs extravaganza. And yesterday we had an amazing class on uh, prosperity spells. Don't believe me? As Diana. <laughs> The class was really, really good. Well, I like it. I love uh, teaching. I enjoy teaching more than anything else, really. All right, let's see what the cards we have for today. For the week, rather, for the week. So, card number one. Oh, thank you, Divinity. Hi, Janet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So card number one is the Ace of Pentacles. And what do you know? The Ace of Pentacles represent prosperity and abundance. They represent health and wealth. They represent matter. They represent anything that is tangible, physical, and material in our planet. And also they represent... Um, good health so if you were seeking for good um, news regarding your health this card represents good health it also represents money coming into a big sum of money or being successful with uh, you know um, money situation etc having resources at your hand quite literally the hand is saying you got it the next card that we have is the queen of pentacles who happens to have a bunny rabbit 
I mean, it's funny because we just had uh, Osara a few weeks ago, Easter yesterday, and this card has a bunny rabbit. And the card is reverse. The card is reverse. So remember, there are no good cards or bad cards. I think that this Queen of Pentacles reverse is telling us we can invest, we can spend the money, we can splurge. Because when she's right side up, she's kind of holding to that pentacle. So think gravity when she's reversed. It's like she's letting it go. And if I had the card standing alone, I will tell you, you know, A, be cautious with what you spend or um, be sure that your balance book is in the right place before you spend money. However, comma when you have the two cards together there is always this context part of tarot where you have to put the two cards together and if the first card is telling us that we have ability potential and resources health wealth abundance and then the next card is telling us by the way you can let it go my interpretation will be that this week we are able to spend money, to invest money, to buy the thing, to, I don't know, hit send, <laughs> purchase whatever it is that you need to purchase and or invest on in yourself, right? Make sure that you use that money to invest on something that you might have been thinking and um this is coming to confirm you can invest now we said this can also represent um health right and that card reverse it will say almost like you can let go of being too worried about your health or being too apprehensive you know it could be like okay you you can you know let go and and be okay uh happy monday to you too rosa uh another one that i will say it's been a long time i haven't seen you in forever uh so anyway thank you all for watching uh what we have for this this weekend i must tell you it's gonna be the bomb because we have online the mystic chat on thursday with freder aaron and chris allen and uh on friday i will be at the fair of fortunes at the maliway brothers it's gonna be so much fun there's gonna be a whole bunch of readers it's not just me so there are gonna be people doing astrology people doing runes people doing tarot and i will be there at the maliway brothers from noon until six or eight i'm not sure yet um but i think it's gonna be like a whole night and then on Sunday, the 16th, we have the Bazaar at the Palms uh, Introduction to Eclipse Season is the name. And you can find all those events on my um, link tree. If you are on the, on the Instagram, click on the link tree. If you're here, click on the link tree. And you can also find the events here on my Facebook page. So... Thank you, Rosa. Rosa saying thank you for a wonderful class last night. I enjoyed the class very much last night as well. Of course, I enjoyed the class. We were talking about prosperity. It's one of my favorite um, topics. And the class ran for two hours. And I promise you, uh, I could have been talking about it for another two hours. All right. So be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity is the message. Be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. And the message reads, Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. How beautiful. Hi, Andrea Landela. Oh, my goodness. Andrea Landela from... Venezuela? 
Ay, 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 Andrea, I forgot. I, you are either from Venezuela or from Argentina. Please don't hate me. I can't remember where you're from. But anyway, I know we follow each other for more than a decade by now, I think. Anyway, the message on this Oracle card is about speak with integrity. And it says, say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself. Funny, I mentioned this last night on the class to not speak against ourselves. So say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. So there you have it, folks. It's been my pleasure to be with you today. I will see you all on Wednesday where we will be doing only oracles. And Friday, I am not going to be online because guess what? I'm going to be at the Maliway Brothers. And I'm going to be there from noon until whenever. So, of course, I'm not going to be able to do a video on Friday. So catch me again on Wednesday. And if you want to catch me live, come to the Maliway Brothers on Friday. Or come to the Eclipse season on Sunday. There's going to be a whole bunch of vendors on that Sunday event. And if you can only catch me online, well, it will be on Thursday at the Mystic Chat with Frater, Aaron, and Chris Allen. We're going to be talking about choosing your path in magic, which is another thing that I'm passionate about, that topic. So hopefully it's going to be a good time. And I will see you all then. And until then, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.